what is this addition like we saw some incredible 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 matches matches so far uh so let's see let's see how this semi final turns out to be the semi final again has four people who have all been here before uh, like not just in quarter final but earlier editions as well uh, let me call them one by one we'll start with someone who's been semi finalist uh, twice every time he has come here he's been in semi final this would be his third semi if i'm not uh, mistaken give it up for kautuk shivast Yay! Yes, yes, it is my third one. I'm a I semi-final guess. specialist. Uh, <laughs> let's see if I can pro- progress this time. Semi-final specialist. <laughs> Batting करता है, bowling करता है, कौन तो semi-final खेलता है. Semi-final specialist. Okay, yeah. Uh, that's a great term which can be used for the our uh, next next contestant as well. She's been here twice and she's been in the semi-final both the times. Another semi-final specialist. Give it up for Manvi Gagre. Hi. Uh, also, I always meet Manvi on quizzes, so it's uh, fun to be back. <laughs> <laughs> Feels at home. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, on that note, another someone who's been on semi-final finals earlier had a spectacular quarter-final, uh, where uh, this was, I think, one of the uh, yeah fourth quarter-final, which uh, she won. She won the so semi-final winner. Uh, give it up for Supriya Joshi. <laughs> hey 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 hey! Hello. Today I'm playing as myself. I was about to say it. Today I am with Supriya. Haven't uh, taken any alter ego. She's playing as Supriya Joshi. Today I'm playing as myself. Let's see how far I go. <laughs> From Kumar Lagoon to Kumar. What was what was it in the quarter final? Uh, it was. Uh... There Kumar was a Kumar Sa- Maroon. There was a Kumar Maroon. Tarun. Kumar. The quarter final one was Kumar Tarun. <laughs> Kumar Tarun. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Uh, with that, another winner. Uh, winner of the first quarter final. A uh, very very exciting uh, match that was where Anirban qualified on the last question as the first runner up, but he was the clear cut winner in that quarter final. Give it up for Zakir Khan. <laughs> hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, Zakir. Okay, Kautuk Manvi Supriya Raki. Let's have fun. That's the most important part of the quiz. Starting with Kautuk on the very first question. Pantone four four eight C is dubbed the ugliest color in the world. Okay, as you can see on the right of your screen, is a drab dark brown color. The color came to limelight when in twenty twelve a group of thousand people chose this color as the most unappealing color. in a study funded by the australian government okay as a result of this study the study which sort of deduced that this is the most unappealing color where did this color find its use to reduce demand okay okay i i don't know where exactly it was used but i can tell you another place it was used which was my school uniform uh, <laughs> the lower half of it was exactly this color um <laughs> was it used was it used uh when like on a uh, on the place where people file taxes uh no not not nothing to do with taxes going to manvi mujhe do aa rahe hain okay is it uh, was it on uh cigarettes or something beautiful answer to start wow. wow it was used on cigarette packaging to reduce demand for cigarettes where people complain cigarettes should be made less and less attractive and uh, so they found the worst color really my other cigarette. option was like uh coca like soda or something junk yeah. or something yeah. wow i'm glad i went with this the cigarette packaging 10 points there to manvi which means i go to supriya now for the next question <laughs> okay uh, we are talking about an india based social service organization supriya x is an india based social service organization that works to promote human rights environmental sanitation non conventional sources of energy waste management and social reforms through education it was founded by bindeshwar pathak from bihar in 1970 and is used by about 10 million people every day and is also a producer of biogas and biofertilizer which organization do you think we are talking about mm, no i don't know the name of this organization but 
because it's biogas and biofertilizer has to do something with the uh, uh, like dung or cow dung or something I, i'm sorry i'll have to pass i don't know okay so priya passes we go to zakir uh, thank you very much thank you supriya <laughs> and this is uh, sulab shachal beautiful answer it is sulab uh, it is sulab international we are talking about sulab international one of world's biggest ngos almost 10 million people use it every day and also produces biogas bio fertilizer also as an international museum of toilets in delhi the only <laughs> national museum for toilets in the world owned by sulab international great crack zakir gets 10 points and i come to kautuk now okay short question which famous british politician come education secretary once said in an interview in 1973 i do not think there will be a woman prime minister in my lifetime only to be proven wrong a few years later 1973 thatcher is the woman prime minister is this winston churchill not churchill going to manvi Is it Thatcher only? Beautiful crack one <laughs> again. That's the beauty of the question. Margaret Thatcher was the Education Secretary in nineteen seventy three, and she said, "I don't think there'll be a woman prime minister in my life." <laughs> only to be proven wrong a few years later by herself becoming the woman prime minister. Of That America. is amazing. Beautiful. I don't see Kothak winning this quiz. I just want to say. <laughs> <laughs> ah, nice. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, now going to Supriya. Okay, Supriya, we are talking about something from nineteen twenty-five. As many as twenty pairs of these items were bought for two to have a feast on Thanksgiving dinner. According to Robinson, this caused both of them to experience some inconvenient laxative effects. All this started when a certain loan prospector was fascinated with the story of the Donner Party, and he wanted to build something upon the themes of. enduring great hardships in pursuit of immense riches or a better life what historic candy eating incident from 1925 is being discussed here okay just tell me what are we talking about anything yeah candy eating incident oh my god am i going a blank completely because i was in born in 1925 uh, <laughs> i don't know why i am thinking uh, it, is it licorice कौतुक uh hey i just want to clarify are we talking about what uh, what the candy is or what the incident is the incident like yeah not like yeah. can't can't divulge much now we'll see next round when the pairs of these items were brought for so we have to tell you these items na matlab what is what are these items ha huh, i haven't i haven't disclose the items ha to wo batana hai na hmm matlab wo item agar pata hai incident acha matlab that eating is part of the answer items is part of the answer are these marshmallows uh no not marshmallows going to manvi yeah the pears the pears is confusing me that why is it in pears Mm-hmm. Uh, or is it just because it was for two people? Uh, no, no. Okay, anyway, uh, come in pairs. Okay, just a guess. I don't know when this was uh, the book or whatever came out, but is it? Does it have some anything to do with Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Ah, uh, no. Okay, we'll take one more round, starting with Supriya. Um, so this is a movie reference. Okay, this is a movie scene from a movie from nineteen twenty-five. Okay. With a very extremely famous uh, person who made this movie, had an iconic scene in the movie, uh, a, a th- Thanksgiving dinner scene in the movie, 
uh, that was about like great hardship and pursuit of a better life etc so now i just if you can give me the movie the person the scene anything around that i'll give you points dekhi nahi hai koi 1990 does this have anything to do with um what's the name of that movie okay is it that charlie chaplin film where he eats shoes i'll give it to you yes nice oh, yes. oh, i'll give it to you. Oh, this is the scene from gold rush uh, where oh. charlie is eating boots uh, in in the movie as like like showing ki hum khana kha rahe so pair is pair of boots and charlie chaplin heart shape gold rush beautiful answer nice five yes. points there nice nice five point there to sukriya it is uh, it is charlie chaplin gold rush vanda okay now going to zakir for the next direct once a certain actress the actor that you see on the screen the actress shown on the right was seated next to jean louis duma on a flight to paris okay Dumas was the chief executive of Hermès at that point of time. Now she put her straw bag into the overhead compartment, uh, but everything fell fell out. So she reportedly told Dumas how hard it was to find a better alternative. What happened because of this? What resulted next? ये कौन से साल का है ऐसा कुछ बता सकते हैं क्या? फिर कुछ पुरानी बातें नहीं अभी तो नहीं Excellent. अच्छा ठीक ये आई थिंक दे स्टार्टेड हरमेस एंड दे स्टार्टेड अ बैग चेन हैंड बैग चेन हाँ मतलब हाँ बैग सही है सर्टेन टाइप ऑफ बैग बट थोड़ा और स्पेसिफिक क्या ये लुई विथॉन की बात हो रही है नहीं नॉट नहीं लुई विथॉन नहीं बट आई कम बैक टू यू कौतुक दे मेड अ बैग इज इट कॉल्ड बर्किन Birkin, Birkin bag is what I was looking for. Yes. It was, uh, it's Birkin bag. She was, of course, Janice, Jane Birkin. Sorry, Jane Birkin, and she suggested this thing, and then Arme started Birkin bag in nineteen eighties. Okay. Uh, I will give full points to Kartuk. Uh, it is Birkin bag. Okay. Ten points to Kartuk. Uh, Birkin bag named after Jane Jane Birkin. next direct will be to manvi manvi here we need to guess an indian city okay this indian city is named after the fort and literally means fort of bricks so it's named after a fort that's called fort of bricks uh, built in the 14th century uh, the city also finds a mention in the literature of kalika puran and mahabharata this place according to this place this state's official website is supposed to be the prabhu mountains of puranas also according to the tourism department of this state it was here in this state that the sage parshuram atoned of his sin sage vyasa meditated king bhishmaka founded his kingdom and lord krishna married his consort rukmini okay which indian city are we talking about none of the none of the other clues are helpful to me uh, fort of brick is Can you, Abhi, uh, since I'm the first one, can you give mm-hmm. us uh, like some <laughs> clue? <laughs> Ki, like region of the country? No, <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, I have a feeling this is completely off in terms of region also, but uh, just with fort of bricks, I'm saying, is it Ita Nagar? It is Ita Nagar. Ten points there to Malvi. Ita, Ita means brick, and the fort is called Ita and Ita Nagar. And you are right. Like I did this, we like my team and I had a long discussion on this question, and we first felt ki Ita Nagar brick, and then all of us were like, when you think of Purana and Mahabharata, you always think of Uttarakh no. and Himachal. Yeah. Always. Yeah. You never think of North. तो ये एक्चुअली वेंट टू देयर अरुणाचल प्रदेश का टूरिज्म वेबसाइट और ये सब लिखा है वहां पे जो कि ना तो या ओके 10 पॉइंट्स देयर टू मानवी फॉर ईटा नगर व्हिच मींस नाउ आई विल गो टू सुप्रिया अ सुप्रिया दिस इज अ डेनिश बैडमिंटन प्लेयर कॉल्ड बिगस्टर एक्सेलसन एंड ही इज आल्सो द 2020 ओलंपिक चैंपियन नाउ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अ वेपन दैट ही एक्वायर्ड इन 2014 ओके अकॉर्डिंग टू हिम इट स्टार्टेड एज अ जोक दैट वुड हेल्प हिम as he would probably have an idea about his major opponent's next move later on when asked did it actually help him he replied not sure 
but it did help in terms of getting more sponsorships and deals okay what weapon did he acquire like obviously not literally a weapon but something that he acquired uh, in 2014 and later like what are we talking about he's not holding the weapon no 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 it's no mujhe wo aa raha hai ki ye left mein marega right mein marega ya khuda ye to seedha marega oh was it a like a magic eight ball or something ah uh, no going to zakir क्या ये इसमें कुछ पता थोड़ी है बस ऐसे कुछ भी गैसी करेंगे और क्या देख रहे हैं सवाल में से कुछ मिल जाएगा तो ठीक है और क्या ही स्टार्टेड मिमिकिंग हिज अपोनेंट्स नो गोइंग टू गुड केस आई मीन आई जस्ट वांट टू अ क्वेश्चन इज दिस अ इज दिस अ वेपन मीनिंग इट कैन बी यूज एज अ वेपन बट इज जनरली नॉट नो 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 इट इज अ प्रॉपर वेपन no it's just a uh, no don't think of a proper uh, physical item at all okay so don't think of a they don't think in that track like it's not a weapon or it's not something physical so okay like zakir said he started mimicking his opponent which is not really a weapon weapon he started like something like that started as started as a joke that this weapon would help him uh, okay as in weapon as in like a thing uh, advantage that would help him uh later on he said not sure but it helped in terms of getting sponsorships and deals okay my guess is uh did he start meditating to guess the future so so meditation no going to manvi i don't know was it something to do with sound that he would uh then depict uh, so try to guess ki sound ka kitna kahan se aa raha hai to wo left se aayega right i don't know anything oh, to do with no okay we'll uh, no we'll take one more round we'll start with supriya so i'll give you hint a uh, first hint is i'll just reiterate that it's a it's not something physical he acquired a skill okay let's let's specify he acquired a certain skill second hint is that most of his opponents or most players in tennis uh, sorry in badminton, badminton are chinese okay so what do you think uh, he would have acquired to sort of guess his major opponents next move did it help him he is not sure but might have helped him getting sponsorships and deals hey, what did, did he learn chinese the language yes that is correct <laughs> 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 and, uh, mandarin okay, he learned the mandarin yeah. language to understand conversations on court between player and coach and everything nice. and i was uh, yeah and now he's all like i was checking one of his recent insta live or something he did where he speaks fluent mandarin so he's extremely popular in china like he's popular on their social media which is with social media platform which are not there outside china so weibo and all he's a celebrity there so he gets sponsorship brand work in china as a foreign player which is very unique okay so priya gets 5 points for learning mandarin and next direct will come to zakir okay <coughs> next we go to the world of football but again just like the last question you didn't really need to know badminton again here this is not a very football specific question it's work hmm. i just realized ki teen log isme panel mein football nahi dekhte hain so i didn't want to <laughs> <laughs> yeah good you are talking about ha huh, but it's workable even without hmm. like bayern munich are no strangers to sweeping teams away in the bundesliga and they keep winning it year after year now i'm talking about a particular particular game in 2012 in this game against a team called hertha berlin bayern munich thrashed the host 6-0 okay hmm. with a hat trick from a guy called aaron robben and a goal each from mario gomez thomas muller tony cruz hmm. now we come to the main interesting part of the game in the 25th minute of the game bayern was a, were awarded a free kick and cruz robben and frank ribery stepped up to take the free kick in the end it was ribery who took and missed the free kick hmm. while generally in a football team there's generally a precedence order as to who will take free kick in a team ki ye lega ye nahi lega to ye nahi hai to ye lega ye nahi hai to ye lega but this three way dispute between these three players robben ribery and cruz was solved in a very peculiar way ki hum mein se kaun free kick lega how do you think they solved this thing 
एक मुझे आई जस्ट वांट टू नो व्हाट इज द जनरल प्रेसिडेंस ऑर्डर आई मीन दैट इज लेट मी लाइक सिंपलीफाई दिस क्वेश्चन सो एक मैच है बिटवीन बायर्न म्यूनिक एंड समवन देयर कम्स अ पॉइंट वेयर वन प्लेयर हैज टू टेक फ्री किक यूजुअली इन अ टीम इट्स ऑलरेडी डिसाइडेड कि चलो इफ साला टेक्स बेटर फ्री किक तो साला विल टेक इफ साला इज नॉट देयर then mane will take for example or alexander arn so it's a pecking order is usually decided here what happened is suddenly all three of them ribery robben and cruz went to take the free kick and they like are kon le are kya so they did something uh, very peculiar to decide who will take this free kick okay uh, how did they solve like how did they decide who will take the free kick dekho teen log hain aise to to taali chhata ke karna chahiye tha in logo ko kaise se to theek hai पर ऑफ कोर्स ये इंडियन कॉन्सेप्ट इतना एडवांस वहां तक पहुंचा नहीं होगा सो फुटबॉल फील्ड पे थूकने का बड़ा चल ना जो सबसे दूर थूकेगा वो वो लेगा कौतुक है ना वो जो फुटबॉल देखता है <laughs> I don't get this. Um, K- KB, I have one more question. Please you go can for it. So when you say that it was solved in a peculiar way, it's the uh, thing in itself is peculiar, or is it peculiar for football and to be to for this particular incident, ki for a free kick to be decided like this? Yeah, the latter. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, my guess is uh, it's Cruz, Robben, and Frank Ribery. Mm-hmm. Um, they are each of different nationality. So, did they decide it based on uh, how their countries had placed in the twenty twelve Euros? No, no, no. Going to Manvi. My, my my guess is rock paper scissor. Beautiful answer, ten yeah. point. Zakir was actually, I mean, on the right track. Shit. Hamare, they used their version of this, where uh, they were like, "Kon jayega? Who will take this?" And they did a rock paper scissors on field to decide. That's why I know. That's why I was asking you whether uh, it's peculiar to football or is it a peculiar thing in itself? मीनिंग the land of the blacks okay which northeast african country which has seen like some of the longest civil wars in the world are we talking about okay northeast uh is it congo not congo good guess going to zakir is it somalia not somalia going to kotok Is it Egypt? Not Egypt. Going to Manvi. I don't know if it's a north. It's in the northeast, as in of Africa. But is it Uganda? Not Uganda. Okay, we'll take one more round, starting with Supriya. The hint would be, uh, think of the newest country in the world. So, the newest country in the world actually came in being because of this long civil war in this country. Ah. Uh, If all four of you want, I can add more hint. Otherwise, we can. Yeah, yeah. Give yes, yes. Okay, give the me. country starts with uh, S. Okay, S for Supriya. Uh, absolutely wrong. No, no, I can't. Somalia, नहीं है. Um, hmm. 
Is it a Sierra something? Sierra Leone, no, going to Zakir. Syria. Not Syria, going to Kotuk. Uh, is it South Sudan? I'll give it to you. It is Sudan, not South Sudan, just Sudan. 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 We are talking about Sudan, Sudan and South Sudan is the newest country in the world that came out after these two long bloody civil wars. Um, five points there to Kotuk. It is uh, Sudan or South Sudan. Uh, Bilad al Sudan. That's what that was the uh, Arabic term which meant land of the blacks. Okay. Cool. Okay. Oh, that also brings us to the end of the first half. Let's take a quick oh look. Oh my at God. <laughs> Embarrassing. Yay. Kotuk got uh, 10 on. One second. Kotuk got 5 on Sudan and 10 on. Uh, okay. Birkin bag, sorry, Birkin bag. So Kothuk is on 15 right now. Mandi got 10 on uh, uh, Margaret Thatcher, cigarette packaging, Ita Nagar, and also rock, paper, scissors. So she's on 40 right now. Oh my God. The fuck? So, <laughs> wow. So Priya got 5. I don't <laughs> 5 each for learning Mandarin and also on. Uh, Charlie Chaplin boot eating in Gold Rush. Supriya is on 10. Exactly. Zakir for Sulab International. So right now Manvi is leading with 40. Followed by Supriya Zakir on 10. Oh sorry. Followed by Kautuk on 15. Followed by Supriya and Zakir on 10. Ooh. But now a whole half is left. And if uh, uh, history of today is to be made. <laughs> after every every semi-final the person who was leading did not win. So I don't know. Ooh. We'll see. Exciting. We'll change the history this time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So yeah, the, now the order will be uh, Zakir, Supriya, Manvi, Kato. Okay. Let's start uh, with Zakir. Okay, I'm talking about two movies. I've given one movie. You need to tell me the other movie. Mm. These two instant classic pseudo westerns of 2007 mm. were filmed in the same area of Marfa in Texas, uh, Texas, mm. around the same time which created issues when a pyrotechnical test for There Will Be Blood, so that's one movie, There Will Be Blood, created a huge smoke cloud that got into the shot of the other movie. It was so much that one shot was going to go to the other side. The directors, directors had to wait for it to dissipate before they could get, get back to shooting. Both this film and the other one, so uh, There Will Be Blood and the other one would eventually become the leading contenders at the Academy Awards. So both of these films were successes. Both of the films did good at Oscars and everything, which is the other film. And same year, they were contenders in the same year. Aisa nahi ki the other film finished later and released later. Ah, no, no, both of these released in 2007. Achha. I have no idea about this. I'll pass. Achha. Zakir passes, we go to Supriya. Is it uh, No Country for Old Men? Beautiful answer. 10 points. Uh, that's why I kept saying directors because it was like okay. Cohen Brothers, more than one director. Uh, no Country for Old Men is correct. Both of these were shot Aspas and both of them did well. Both of them did well critically. Uh, no Country for Old Men. 10 points there to Supriya. And we go to Manvi for the next question, which is a three word answer I'm looking for. Okay. The phrase seems to have been used for the first time in Press Democrat, a California-based newspaper in 1988. Okay, And this is the first usage of this three-word phrase. Even those who emerge from the sea to casually braid their shiny wet wines into a thick coil with hibiscus on the end also have dash, dash, dash. Okay, The phrase gained more popularity after its use in Buffy the Vampire Slayer movie in 1992. And obviously, it's also now popular in today's world as well. Okay, what three-word phrase are we looking at? It's a common phrase. Like we also it's use a it as phrase a... on uh, on internet and like generally people use. Achha. No idea. I think your prophecy or whatever the curse of the day uh, is upon us. <laughs> <laughs> So, hmm. internet now I'm only thinking of uh, internet. I think I don't know. Do it yourself, DIY. Thick coil with also have do it. Okay, going to Kotuk. 
can you give some context about this phrase like uh, uh, not now abhi to ban raha hu we'll see <laughs> have unless you let me go again <laughs> i'm taking a guess white shiny fangs not white shiny fangs going to zakir iska matlab line ka yahi hai na ki even those who emerge from the sea to casually braid their shine kya hai iska matlab kya hai shiny wet vines and to a thick coil with viscous on the end also have dash 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 ऐसे ही एक मतलब मेरे को नहीं पता थ्री वर्ड है फोर वर्ड है पर क्या चिप ऑन चिप ऑन शोल्डर्स नॉट चिप ऑन शोल्डर गोइंग टू सुप्रिया चिप ऑन शोल्डर्स इट फील्स सो फैमिलियर बट आई हैव टू आई आई नो इट बिकॉज़ ऑफ द बफी रेफरेंस बट आई जस्ट कांट प्लेस इट आई कैन सी बफी सेइंग दिस आई थिंक बट आई आई डोंट नो सो आई एम जस्ट गोना से पर्ल्स बिफोर सो आई नो Okay, we'll give one. Uh, we'll go one more round. Make it a five-point question. So it's like I don't know if if you guys are confused with internet. That's nothing. Like as such, it's not like that. This is an internet term or something. Like we can clearly see that it was first used in '88 and it's been popular since 1992 as well. Now look at what is happening. You're saying that someone who is so uh, amazing that he comes up, he or she comes out of the sea. and like braid their shiny wet vines but inko bhi problem ho sakta hai life mein that's what this line is saying okay so talking about a certain problem uh, that people face on on certain occasions okay um which has so which has something to do with uh, a certain body part of yours okay something that uh, when something becomes unmanageable unmanageable or it doesn't look good uh you say that you are having a oh are guys oh yeah oh who's is who's is it <laughs> it's not if my yeah. my no bad hair day yes yes even those who emerge from the sea to casually braid their shiny wet vines into a thick coil with hibiscus on the end also have bad hair day okay and yeah that's <laughs> Uh, okay. How many points do you get for that photo? Because keep them all. <laughs> bad hair day. Okay. Uh, bad hair. बहुत ही बहुत ही छोटी problem नहीं हो रही इतने shiny लोगों को. Bad hair day is correct. Manvi gets five points for that, and I go to Kothuk. Kothuk, when Norway's king's guard visited the Edinburgh military tattoo of 1961 for a drill display. A lieutenant named Nils Ejelian became interested in one particular colony of the zoo. When the king's guard returned to Edinburgh in 1972, Ejelian arranged for the regiment to adopt a dash, adopt a X. X was named Nils Olav in honor of this guy, Nils Ejelian, and King Olav the Fifth of Norway. Since then, X resides in Edinburgh Zoo uh, in Scotland. he is the mascot and colonel uh, colonel in chief of the norwegian kings guard the names have been passed down through three birds since 1972 the current holder being nils olav the 3rd okay just tell me what is x is it an ostrich not an ostrich going to zakir yeah ye bird hai na ye hmm hmm अच्छा और ये वहां रहता है उसके उसमें पर है ये नॉर्वेजियन हम्म रहता है स्कॉटलैंड में ही है बट हाँ नॉर्वे के मुझको ऑनरेरी रैंक वगैरह मिला हुआ है कर्नल इन चीफ ये वो एक्चुअल बर्ड है ना मतलब इट्स नॉट जस्ट इट्स अ मैन ड्रेस्ड एज अ बर्ड नो नो लाइक इट्स नॉट लाइक अ थिंग आई टेल यू आई टेल यू वेयर आई एम कमिंग फ्रॉम वंस द आंसर इज रिवील Is it a white peacock? Not a white peacock. Going to Supriya. Uh, is it penguin? It is penguin. Ten oh, points. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> penguin. Damn it. A penguin. Okay. It's a penguin. A king penguin. This is the penguin. This is the current uh, King Olaf the Third. I think. Okay. Five points there. Oh, sorry. Ten points there to Supriya. Okay. Ten to Supriya. Uh, I was thinking like Olaf in Frozen. Mm. Uh, I was wondering if Ol 
uh, Olaf came from Olaf. So mm. that's a. Okay, so Supriya gets ten points for Penguin, and we come to Manvi for the next direct. Okay, live scenes from X is a three-disc live album by progressive metal band Dream Theater, recorded on August thirty, two thousand. Now I've shown you the cover artwork. The original cover artwork was based on Dream Theater's album Images and Words, which included, as you can see, a heart in flames, uh, wrapped in barbed wire, with the heart replaced with an apple. Okay. Soon after release, the album was recalled. and re-release later okay so go through the question tell me why do you think this album was recalled what was the reason behind recalling this album so uh, uh, the heart replaced with an apple was the recalled image or was it always this uh, this is the original cover that had to be uh, recalled this is the before it yeah okay was it something to do with microsoft and apple slash macintosh but uh, uh, no passing to kato <laughs> is it because um, you can see the twin towers in the uh, flames and so when 911 happened they recalled it beautiful beautiful very wow. nice very wow. good Nice. Okay. <laughs> wow. August thirty two thousand. Yeah, and they released it on the day of eleventh September two thousand one without realizing the cover had twin towers on fire. So they had to yeah. obviously recall this oh, album. Oh man! Very nice. Flames and coincide. Super great Very deduction. Nice. Ten points there to answer. Nice. Nice. Points there to Kartik. So this will be Zakir's direct. Okay. Uh, Let me talk about a certain person <laughs> called Ernst Grafenberg. Okay. Achha. Ernst Grafenberg was a German-born physician who is known for developing the intrauterine device (IUD) as a method of contraception. Achha. Grafenberg earned his doctorate in 1905 and began working as a doctor in the department of obstetrics and gynecology at the University of Kiel. Later, he worked as chief gynecologist of a municipal hospital in Brits, and led scientific studies of the physiology of human reproduction at Berlin University. Tell me, what does he lend his name to? What do you think is named after this person? Sir, का नाम क्या है? Ernst Grafenberg. Ernst Grafenberg ने अपना नाम किसी चीज को दिया है जिसका काम कुछ तो गायनोकोलॉजी की चीज से है. वो कोई बहुत नॉलेज कह रही है तो नहीं है वैसे ही ठीक है ये वर्ड का मतलब बता सकते हैं क्या आप मेथड ऑफ कॉन्ट्रोसेप्शन ये जो डेवलपिंग द इंट्रा यूथ क्या इन हाँ सो बेसिकली एक एक और मेथड सॉर्ट एक डिवाइस उन्हें डेवलप किया कॉन्ट्रोसेप्शन सो सॉरी केवी इज इट अ मतलब इज इट अ थिंग कि कि उसने the the first of its kind or something like that was lent his he lent his name to or is it like known like known as that like for example if it was uh, IUD mm -hmm. if IUD was what he lent his name to तो so IUD तो हम अभी भी बोलते हैं ना like IUD is still called IUD okay It's not like the first IUD was called. No, no, no. no. Grafenberg is okay. named up. Like, yeah, it's still person. in use. That yeah. being the name and everything. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Aisi bol de raha hu. Condom. Not condom. Going to Supriya. Mera bhi wohi kya hai? Hmm. Ah, Kavi, is this? Uh, are we still? Talk we are talking about the device or what? Or the or or something else? Something else. Something else. Okay. Ernst and Young. <laughs> <laughs> the financiers. <laughs> They were working at. <laughs> the job there works great. 
Not Ernst and Young, going to Manvi. IV, in vitro fertilization. No, Kautuk. Is it the process of grafting? Not grafting. Okay. We'll start again with Zakir. Um, uh, so two hints. One is just one letter from his name is used somewhere. The thing that answer we are talking about takes one letter from his name. Okay. Which stands for Grafenberg. Okay. Hmm. So he lends his name to something. Uh, now tell me what, what do you think we are talking about? Oh. G-spot. G spot that is correct five points there too. Oh wow! Spot. Mirko milta bhi rehta hai waise you Spot was named after Grafenberg. Okay. Wow! Uh, it's called the Grafenberg zone and like popularly known as G spot. Uh, G spot is correct five points there to Zakir. <laughs> Great photo. Yaar, ye jo photos photos are very good. normal photo mujhe mili nahi rata, <laughs> Finally, mujhe a joke type. Mila tha. <laughs> okay. G, G spot is correct. Zakir gets five points for getting G spot for five points. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> worth a lot more than five points. <laughs> Even more. <laughs> Been helping me a lot. <laughs> Okay, so Priya Hamrahi is a 1945 Hindi social drama film. The film was a bilingual and was a remake of its popular Bengali version called Udayar Pothe. Uh, Udayar Pothe was Bimal Roy's uh, debut film as a director in Bengali films, while Hamrahi was his first uh, directorial venture in Hindi films. Mm. Now, in, in this movie, sung in a chorus, mm. which famous song that became more popular post-independence was part of the soundtrack of this film. Uh, um, the, the song is in Hindi? Um, okay, can't say. Okay. Uh, uh, is it Vande Mataram? Not Vande Mataram. Going to Manvi. Oh. Is it Akla Chalore? Not Akla Chalore. Going to Kautuk. Is it Ham Honge Kamiyab? Not Hamonge Kamiya going to Zake. Is it Durato Duniwalu Hindustan Amara? Uh, no, not Durato Duniwalu. Okay, <laughs> we'll do one more round. Yes, Durato Duniwalu Hindustan Amara. Bola be as a key. Hadio Duniwalu. Hatna Jay Duniwalu. Kara Yape. Nicola others. Ah, yes, sir. Ah, okay. Um, okay, hint for all of you would be. Um, uh, oh, song oh. is uh, written by uh, written by a Nobel Prize winner. Okay, uh, let's start with Supriya. Is it Janagana Mana? It is Janagana Mana. The oh. Janagana Mana oh. was in this. Yes. Okay, Hamrahi lyrics and uh, tune by Dr. Tagore as chorus. Okay, Janagana Mana is correct. Five five points again for Supriya, uh, which means the next direct will go to Manvi. Okay. Anvi, this painting by Juan Coria de Vivar shows the crucifixion of Saint Andrew, who was the younger brother of Saint Peter. This crucifixion is somewhat the inspiration for the flag of a country which hosted the Commonwealth Games in 2014. Which flag slash which country are we talking about? I know nothing about flags. Uh, Is it Luxembourg? Uh, passing to Kautuk. Oh, sorry. Is it Scotland? It is Scotland. 10 points ah. there to Kautuk. See, what? it is the Scottish flag. Uh, Scotland is correct. 10 points there to Kautuk. And we now come to Zakir. Uh, Dr. Andy Hilde Hildebrand had a doctorate in electrical engineering from the University of Illinois and later on worked in Exxon before starting his own geophysical consulting company. His work in Exxon focused on reflection seismology, a technique for mapping underground spaces by analyzing how sound waves interacted with each other, which helped companies find oil below the surface. But this technology finds an alternative application. So nothing to do with like rocks and seismology and oil in music industry. 
okay so the same technology has an application in music industry what alternative application do you think this technology can have in the music industry रिफ्लेक्शन था ना उसमें so mm-hmm. i thought because it just the music reflect i don't know this is my how my brain thought of it <laughs> your your voice reflects back to you in the <coughs> way it should be heard uh so that's how i made the sense of it in my brain But i was actually of- i knew the answer i'm a genius <laughs> <laughs> that's the oh, answer. <laughs> super super auto tune is correct so priya uh, gets 10 points which means the next question will come to manvi Ah, uh, okay. Sorry, another doctoral. Excess <laughs> doctoral thesis was a line of sight guidance technique for manned orbital rendezvous, earning him the nickname Doctor Rendezvous from fellow astronauts. His nickname, which became his legal first name in 1988, arose as a result of his sister mispronouncing brother as Dash, which was then shortened to Dash. Who are we talking about? so he is an astronaut ha na hmm that's all we know yeah baz something sorry is it baz something is the first name baz which was with the with the mispronunciation of brother and then shortened to baz aisa kuch hai So an astronaut huh? with um, no. You're very. Uh, you're on the right track. Think of an astronaut who has a a nickname that could have become his first name, and you're on very right track with what you just said. Baz Luhrmann. <laughs> Baz. <laughs> okay, going to Kathak. It's Buzz Aldrin. It's Buzz Aldrin. That is Buzz ten Aldrin. points there to Kathak. Okay. Second man on moon, Buzz Aldrin, originally called Edwin Eugene oh. Aldrin Jr. Okay, Buzz, Buzz, brother, oh. buzzer, Buzz. Who's uh, there? Some. Okay, ten points there to Kathak, which means now. If you're a footballer, you're a footballer. Which means now I go to Zakir. Okay, uh, these points. <laughs> were a result of cultural exchange that occurred due to global trade in the early 17th century and were inspired by miniatures from mughal india okay who considered to be one of the greatest visual artists in the history of art and most important name in dutch art history created these uh, these paintings a van gogh ne banayi hai uh, no not van gogh going to supriya Da Vinci, not Da Vinci. Going to Manvi. Rembrandt. Rembrandt is correct. Ah, oh. it is Dutch artist Rembrandt. Ah, oh man, you guys have no idea unless you are keeping score as to how tense <laughs> no the last three questions. Like literally on every question, there was some tie. Someone was leading. Someone was going back. Someone was. Oh man! What the? Was this the last question? Yes, this is. This was question number twenty-four. Oh, congrats, Manvi! So <laughs> yeah. Oh man! Well done. Well uh, done. Crazy quiz. Crazy. Kothu from fifteen got. I said ten, ten. Supriya was on ten, and Supriya was leading in the middle. Manvi was leading in the first half with forty. Then she was trailing the question before it was. If there was a scorecard, upper niche, this was a crazy intense quiz. um okay cool let me just look at the score again kautuk had 15 in the first half in the second half he got new york skyline in flames he got scotland and he got buzz aldrin so 30 more points 
Kautuk was on uh, Kautuk ends on forty five. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so Priya had ten in the first half. In the second half, she like she obviously won the second half. Uh, so Priya with no country for old men for ten points. Uh, Penguin another ten five for uh, Janagana Mana. Yeah, five for Janagana Mana and ten for Auto Tune had thirty five. in the second half so supriya also ends on 45 okay like before the last question there were three people on the same score like before rembrandt <laughs> the 45 45 45 lucky uh, that 10 in the first half got five in the second half for g spot which like supriya said it's worth million points so uh, <laughs> <laughs> manvi was leading with 40 in the first half got five for bad hair day and she was there on 45 And Kautuk and Supriya both reached her on top. Oh. Everything is passing. So you have forty-five, and then Janagana Mana passes, then Kautuk <laughs> passes, and then uh, Buzz Aldrin. You reach Buzz. You wrote, but... yeah, you reach Buzz. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, and then Rembrandt goes to Zakir, which passes to Supriya, passes to Manvi, and then Manvi gets ten points for Rembrandt, which means she ends on fifty-five, and wow. she becomes the third. You said a month back, I remember कि तुम हमको बुलाते और मैं कभी सेमीफाइनल में भी नहीं जाता हूँ बट यू बिन हियर बिफोर एंड यू बिन हियर अगेन एंड थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर डूइंग थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड आई प्रूव आई हैव नेवर बिन इन सेमीफाइनल आई हैव सुलभ सोचालिस तो ही विच आई वांट टू टेल मैं इन जब 2010 में मैं गांव गया था अपने ठीक है वहां गांव में सुलभ शौचालय ठीक है तो वहां मैंने पूछा उससे कहां से हो तुम जो बंदा काम करा था तो उसने बोला था बिहार से <laughs> मैंने बोला इतना दूर तुम गांव में क्या करने आए यहाँ पे कि तब बिहार का बंदा चालू करेगा तो नौकरी नहीं देगा क्या बिहार लोगों को सही है भाई इसलिए मेरे को वो याद था ठीक है अमेजिंग अमेजिंग Uh, with that we come to Supriya. Supriya stellar second half. I mean, even in the quarter final, I still think when we were doing dry run for the quiz, I have told the kids that chemical romance will not come out. <laughs> it came to you and you were like, "My chemical romance." I was like, "Wow, beautiful!" That was for me one of the best moments of this edition. And then today with like auto tune and like penguin and everything else, super Supriya forty five brilliant. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Now we come to Kothuk, of course, one of the most loved contestant amongst our audience, and another stellar second half uh, with like uh, Buzz Aldrin, of course, but also like Scotland and everything else. Thank you, Kothuk. Thank you. Hey, semi-final specialist. <laughs> yeah, you are the most consistent. You, you, you are the only one stuck with the character. Like, make a character brief. <laughs> सेमीफाइनल में अच्छा करना है इसके आगे नहीं जाऊंगा एंड कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू मानवी यू बिकम द थर्ड फाइनलिस्ट अलोंग विद साहिल शाह एंड रोहन जोशी एंड वी विल हैव आफ्टर दिस हम को ना अपना प्रेशर सो सो बैड इन द फाइनल या यू ब्रोक द थर्ड यू हैव आवर बेस्ट विशेस मे यू विन या या मे यू विन ओके cool um done okay thank you so much kautuk supriya and zakir and lt manvi in the final thank you thank congratulations you. man congratulations yes congrats, congrats. Thank you